We are improving on YouTube's design with a brand new sidebar. Have a look. Compare this with this. Now I know it doesn't seem like much, but you notice one thing missing from the new design. There's no home button. Why should there be a home button? The home button is the same as clicking the logo. So what did we do? Obviously, we made the home button be the logo. Watch. Click. Takes you to the home page with no unnecessary home link. Now let's go to YouTube and see what happens. When you're on YouTube and you're watching any video, then if you click home, it takes you home. Now if I'm watching the same video and I click the logo, it goes to the same place. Two links that do exactly the same thing right next to each other for no reason. So we decided, let's change that. Now look how the new sidebar works. This is like the equal sign, the hamburger. This is the old way we did it, just like YouTube does, with a home button in the hamburger menu. But now it's a little pop-out, which animates smoothly to put the logo as the home button and it saves a redundant link. What do you guys think? I know it's a small thing, but it's one of many that we are adding to Heartbeat to make it better than YouTube, a better design, more useful and relevant. So give me a, I'll, let me give you another example. All of these moments you cannot do on YouTube. For example, if I create a playlist on YouTube, it always starts at zero, zero in a video. In this playlist, we can start at any moment, such as George jumps from a plane. And before the my jump, birthday, my wife and I jump. the parachute popping, and my wife jumping from a plane. And slow motion. All of these things are possible because Heartbeat supports start times in a playlist. YouTube does not. That's another improvement we've made over the standard YouTube uh, interface. Now, if you remember a time, YouTube actually did support start times in playlists. No more, they removed it. Why? The same reason they always give, which is no one was using it. I was using it. I was a little upset when YouTube removed that feature. So we went ahead and built Heartbeat to bring back the YouTube that once was. That's what Heartbeat is, guys. We fill in the blanks. We bring back the features that we loved in YouTube, and YouTube either removed or changed. Now we resurrect them in Heartbeat. Heartbeat is the YouTube that once was. Now this uh, sidebar also has a few other things I wanna show you. It has Heartbeats I follow. Who is Nexon? Nexon is a guy that just told me this morning on Discord he wants to make Heartbeat his full-time job. He is moving from YouTube to Heartbeat because he feels Heartbeat is a better opportunity for him to make money, to express himself, and he just doesn't like what YouTube has become. Now, Nexon, I would love to hear your personal thoughts about why you're switching to Heartbeat in your own words. Make a video. If you do, I will promote it here on The George Show so everyone can hear it from your own words why you prefer Heartbeat. And that's important, guys, because you can hear it from me, but you always hear it from me. When you hear it from other people, it's more convincing. It's more believable. It's a testimonial. So look what Nexon's done. He's created his nice banner on Heartbeat. He's got now four followers. I know it's not much, but hey, we all start. It's better than zero. We all start somewhere and he's created 10 moments so far. Now he's focusing on moments of his own content, which as you can guess it is Minecraft. Let me play a few moments uh, uh, for you. Let's look at his latest one. Game two, roll it. So he's got two moments in this video which jumped to his second game and his first game. I encourage you to create more moments and to provide descriptions in the title so it's easy for us to understand what we're gonna watch. And that's the power of Heartbeat. See, this is a five minute video. You can break it up into the exciting moments just like YouTube chapters and let the audience see the things they're most interested in. But unlike YouTube chapters, you the audience can create moments as well. 
on YouTube, when you're watching someone's video and you want an exciting moment to remember it, how do you save it? Well, you can't. <laughs> you can maybe save it in a bookmark with a time code in the URL, or you can use that difficult clip feature, which creates this like a standalone link. It's tough. However, let me go to my heartbeat and I'll show you just how easy it is to create moments around any videos you watch, which is again, a big improvement over YouTube chapters. So let's take something like, oh, let's go to my, my, one of my playlists, music. Here's some popular music that I enjoyed. Now look at this, guys. Nothing compares, no worries or cares, regrets. I am creating moments from popular music that I enjoy in a playlist that start at exactly the chorus or the cool guitar solo that I really enjoy. You cannot do this on YouTube. You have to create a playlist that only starts at zero zero, which is the boring part of a music video. That's when it's just warming up. You want to jump to the exciting parts, don't you? Let me play a few more. The club isn't the best place to find a lover, so the bar is where I go. It's been a long day without you, my friend. Do you see that? I had the beginning of the song and then the climax, and I can jump right to those moments after you create them once. You can share the playlist. Everyone can enjoy it on your heartbeat. That's what makes Heartbeat special, guys. You get quality content right at your fingertips. And when you follow people who you like their content, then you get that quality content in your feed. Where is that? Right here in Heartbeats I Follow. If you follow my Heartbeat, you will see my Heartbeats here in your feed. Here I'm seeing other people's moments that I'm following, like Nexon. And uh, I can look at what they are creating. Heartbeat is a social network. It connects strangers based on common interest. Now, how do you follow my heartbeat? Well, just go uh, search for George up here in the uh, search box or click the link down there in the description below, which says follow my heartbeat. Now, if you search for George, here I am with 75 followers. Now, I've been gaining a few followers every day. Heartbeat is ramping up. We're getting like 10 new people signing up every day on Heartbeat now. We're getting like a hundred new assets created every day on Heartbeat now, and it's just growing. And when we have people like Nexon tell me things like, I want to switch to Heartbeat and quit YouTube, oh my, that gives me so much energy and passion to continue building Heartbeat so more of you have the same reaction to come to make Heartbeat your full-time career. Now, how do you get paid on Heartbeat? Well, you just go to Studio, then you click Analytics, and then you see your estimated revenue. Look, right now I am making $16.16 in the last 28 days. We're gonna pay everybody on April 18th, 2024. That's the first payment. That will, that's our first ever payment that we will send to you, the people who are making content on Heartbeat, even if you get no views. This is the kicker, guys. We will pay you for quality content. If you make quality moments, meaning custom titles, relevant start times, interesting content, like those music uh, videos I showed you, or uh, maybe some cool moments around bike riding, like mountain biking, anything that you find interesting. If you create quality content, you get paid. Doesn't matter if it gets views or not. Now, if it gets views, you also get paid a CPM for those views. And if you get watch time, meaning people not just click to watch your, video, your moment, but actually watch through your whole moment, you get paid even more. 
three revenue streams, guys. Quality, QPM. CPM, pages per thousand views. And WPM, watch time per thousand views. We just used the three letters because everyone knows CPM. So we thought, all right, let's do QPM for quality and WPM for watch time. Those don't exist on YouTube. YouTube pays you only for CPM. Well, they call it RPM, revenue per thousand views after YouTube's cut. But let's just use CPM because that's the more common one. So CPM, everyone gets paid on YouTube and Heartbeat. WPM, the watch time, you only get paid on Heartbeat. QPM, for quality, even if you get no views, you only get paid on Heartbeat. And we're gonna introduce more revenue streams as time goes on. The goal is for us to make you go full time on Heartbeat. If you create quality content, that's the key. We are like a book publisher. Think of the business model of a book publisher. What do they do? They give money to an author. What, when he sells a book? No, when he's about to write a book. They pick a talented author to invest in. They give that author money. The author goes and writes the book, maybe over a year, does his research, goes traveling, gets all of his information for his book. The book publisher pays for all that upfront cash. That's like we paying you for quality content. When does the book publisher make money? Well, when the book gets published, finished, and sold on the store shelves. Now, of course, the book publisher may lose money if the book doesn't sell. That's our risk, but we're taking that business model on as Heartbeat. We are a publishing platform. We invest in you, the people who make quality content. We make bets that your quality content will get views eventually. It's our job to help you get more views. Of course, you have to work to get more views by promoting your heartbeat on your YouTube channel, on your Twitter account, everywhere you talk to with your friends, tell them to follow my heartbeat. But we also have to do our job. And if we don't, then we, know, then we lose the money that we've spent to pay you for your quality content. So obviously we're incentivized to help you grow. Does YouTube pay you for uploading quality content? No, they pay you only when your quality content gets views. And we feel that's unfair. We like the book publisher model because creators get paid regardless, as long as they make quality content, you know, write a good book. So focus on quality, 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 and you will make money on Heartbeat. That's our brand promise to you. Now I actually made a video about this, guys. You just go to, uh, let's see, go to my heart, well, anywhere really on Heartbeat. Let's go to the homepage in this shiny new sidebar with no home button. Let's pick one of these videos, like uh, Lilith uh, by Halsey. And look down here. Heartbeat pays everyone. Click. Everybody gets paid on Heartbeat. That's our brand promise to you. I am earning $2. At the time, I was only earning $2.07. Look at the difference now, guys. I am now earning, go to the same place, studio, Analytics, I already showed this to you earlier, but in case you forgot, <laughs> I'm now earning $16.14 right here, where before when I made this video, I was only earning $2. Pretty big increase. Why? Because I'm producing a lot of quality content. Yes, my content is also getting some views. Look, views, 8,000, what is it here? 8,100 views so far in the last 28 days. Let's go back 90 days. I have 13,900 views on my content on Heartbeat. Pretty impressive, huh? I think it's impressive. <laughs> Maybe you don't think it's impressive, but we're just getting started here, guys. Heartbeat's a new platform. Like we're just sending our first payment on April 18th. So come on, give us some slack. It's, it's impressive, right? So let's go back to the last 28 days. And uh, you can also see my watch time graph, which is different from my views graph and my estimated revenue, which is again different because we combining revenue from quality, estimated views or views and watch time to create estimated revenue. Now the final revenue will appear in about mid-August, a little bit before, or sorry, mid-August, mid-April. <laughs> Uh, that's when we finalize all the numbers, just like YouTube does. So this will change a little bit uh, for you. But once we get the final numbers, there'll be a new section here called Earn, where in the Earn page, you will get uh, an account, like a bank account, 
a list of all the money that's been finalized that is going to be paid to you, and then you'll be able to tell us how to pay you, pay in here, PayPal, bank transfer, as you like. And then you'll see a log, just like a bank account statement, of every payment earned, or money earned, money paid, and then a running balance. So that's coming into Heartbeat Studio very soon. And yeah, I'm excited, guys. I hope you are too. I'm excited for Nexon and all of you future Nexons who will make the switch to Heartbeat. Of course, you don't have to give up on YouTube. The point is to use Heartbeat and YouTube together if you want to focus on both platforms, but do focus on Heartbeat. We think it will be a more rewarding experience than just focusing on YouTube. Hope you agree. Until the next episode, follow my Heartbeat and... Uh, yeah, let me go to my heartbeat here so I can show it to you. Follow my heartbeat here, please. Join us on our journey. As I'd we love to hit 100 followers soon. And uh, when I do, I'll make another video that uh, 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 makes, makes that. <laughs> Be proud of my 100, 100 uh, follower milestone. Now, you'll actually notice here I have the old sidebar. If you look at the version, this is version 2.24. So this is cached. If you refresh... If you're seeing the wrong version, you'll see the new version. Caching takes about an hour to expire, maybe longer. So just make sure you're on this 2.25 version if you're not seeing the new sidebar, which I love so much. I hope you love it too. All right, Freedom Family, until the next episode, who am I? I am your Papa George, your George Sun Pie, the CEO and founder of Heartbeat and Freedom! Same team, Building Heartbeat is the team that built Freedom. We are here for 10 years. We just had our 10 year anniversary, guys, on Heartbeat. And let me show that to you. Again, just scroll down and you see this. 10 year anniversary of Freedom. <laughs> oh, it's muted. Today, mute. December 1st, 10 years is how old Freedom is today. December 1st, 2023. This is the first ever video I published on YouTube as the Freedom MCN. Let me... Yeah, that was 10 years ago, guys. More than 10 years now. And of course, we are growing. Now, Heartbeat is our own platform, and we're going to build it into something that's as big as YouTube. That's our goal. Millions of users, hundreds of millions of assets, moments, photos, writing. We're going to have games, Heartbeat games. We're gonna have podcasts, music only, all this stuff with moments as the key unique selling point distinguishing factor that doesn't exist on any other platform. All right, I think I should stop talking. Try it out, go to h.ki, H key for short, which is the same hot key you press to create a heartbeat moment and get started uh, making quality content. Uh, by the way, you should also go to our uh, Chrome extension, which is right here, the moments extension, so you can press H while on YouTube. This is the Chrome Web Store, and once you install the Chrome extension, then on YouTube.com, you can just press H at any time to create a moment. And that'll get saved on your heartbeat, and anyone can look at it at any time once you do that. So even when you're on YouTube.com, you can use heartbeat. Hope that helps, and we'll see you on the next episode of The George Show. Get your exercise. I went jogging, another 3K run. I did my dips. I can do eight now. And uh, pull-ups, uh, chin-ups, I should say. I can do five now, unassisted, from like full extension. <laughs> ah, that's tough though. I can tell you guys, anyone who's trying to like be stronger at age 48, you'll feel it's a little harder to gain muscle than when you're 28. So if you're still younger than me, no excuse. Get out there. Get your exercise. Do your weight training. You don't have to become Arnold Schwarzenegger. You could just build some tone, like add some muscle. It's a very nice definition to see your uh, chest kind of like pop out when you're uh, in your swimsuit, right? As a, boy, as a man. <laughs> For women, it's different uh, body parts that you want to tone. Maybe your abs and your glutes. For the girls, for the ladies. Uh, but for the man, you know, it's all about your bicep and your whoa, chest uh, to look impressive at the beach. So get off your butt. Don't be lazy. If me, as the 48-year-old CEO and founder of Freedom and Heartbeat, 
can get out there and get his exercise on a regular basis, so can you. <laughs> right? Till the next episode, I am George, and you've been watching. Ooh, you dreaming about love. Yeah. Click that I to partner with Freedom and join the Freedom family so we can all grow together. You get many perks like position music, you also get epidemic sound, a lot of other access to royalty free videos, sponsorships, and many things to help you grow. Just click the links down there in the description below to get involved in our community, our forums, our Discord chat servers, meet our graphics team, meet our community team, all of that on Discord and the forums. What are you waiting for? Get started. And we will grow together as a family because this is the Freedom Family. You are part of it, we are all part of it, and we're all growing together. To get more George, click that big F. That will subscribe you to Freedom Central, home of The George Show. And PewDiePie gave one of you, Freedom Family, a big shout out. Click that video to see the shout out and to see our new 3D sets for you. And click that video to see what YouTube recommends you watch next.